Bam! We've been waiting for this, guys, for a long time, for like years. As you know, we own a computer repair business. We're in an RV right now, and we're always desperate for internet. Wi-Fi, whatever, your phone tethering back and forth, everything gets confusing, and they don't make it easy. At all. We had a device right here. This is kind of, of an, kind of, I, I look at it like the off-brand device. It's kind of what you get around the eBay and stuff. And we used that for how long? And, and it worked. But the thing is, is we've been fixing computers for 14 years, and you got to be a rocket scientist to figure it out. I'm still <laughs> trying to figure out the settings in this. I'm not too happy about Lots that. Lots of hours of aggravation and screaming came with that. Yeah. It, and to, to think that we owned it for like three years and we're still trying to figure it out and we're technicians, we own a computer repair business for 14 years, that has to tell you something. It's really difficult. That Frustrating. Most of it is in the software and firmware part of the deal. It's not really the hardware. He does all that stuff. I basically just watch and use the internet. Until this came along. And this, this is the, thing. And this thing. The Wi-Fi Ranger Go AC. Now we're not going to get technical. I'm just going to say it's bad to the bone. I haven't had any problems with. Is that an old saying, "bad to the bone"? You know you're old. I, maybe I shouldn't say that. I'm not old. You're old. <laughs> no, I'm younger than you. I haven't had any problems with connecting to the internet, um, getting my work done, or working with my problem with my software and things like that that I need to work with clients, or surfing the internet and watching Wi-Fi, watching uh, Netflix, Netflix and, and stuff like well, that. Well, I mean, it depends on your in, the, the RV park's internet or your DSL or cable or whatever. This has ports on the back. I'm not going to get real technical because 99.9% .9 of the people out there are not technical and they don't want to hear all that. But what does it do? It's what they want to know. It shares your internet connection in an RV park and it amps it out. And how? Basically, this is a router and this is a router. Two routers, Why which is really cool. Two? Because you can connect to this or this. This right here, you put on your roof of your RV. Okay? This is heavy duty. It's, it's like all really aluminum. It's really like Seriously. light, but heavy duty. <laughs> you put this on your RV, okay? Wi Fi Ranger. Some RVs actually come with these already installed. Yeah, some come with already installed. That's how big this company's getting. They've been around for like eight years. They're really good. I've known them for like eight years. It's an amazing company. This right here goes on your roof right here. It's all aluminum. It doesn't rust. These are all stainless steel. Has like has actually readings right on here when it's on. This has an antenna that you can bend around, so if a tree hits it, you're good. That's a or big a plus. Or a stop sign in Ross's case. Yep. This comes with these same same stands actually. That comes without the stand, and you can put it on your bat wing antenna. So this is like right here, and you can you can bring it up your antenna on your roof or your TV. You strap it to your oh, antenna, man. so you you wind your antenna up. This goes way up too with it, which is really cool. This has like 30 feet of cable too, and it's not the cheap stuff. It's Lots real really nice. Lots of cable, people. This right here can go two miles now up to two miles that's the line, direct line of sight you got to kind of be seeing it so if you got trees in the way walls buildings it's not going to go two miles but this has to be the best thing on the market right now for the retail market for consumers that works the best my opinion our opinion I think a lot of other RVers will agree I don't we don't we don't make any money selling this to you I'm guys I'm sure a lot of them we're selling this to you because we're proud of it. Something that actually works. Something I don't have to beat my head against the wall for two years to learn. That's what I'm excited about this product for. Lightsabers. 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 <laughs> this right here is really cool because it has a, uh, a port for your cell phone. So if you're going to tether your cell phone, you can do hardwired right to your cell phone. Um, this actually runs on DC or, or AC, so battery or electric. So if you're going to boondock, bam. Now do you battery. connect to this first or this first? You can connect in the software to either one you want. So you can actually use this, and you don't have to buy them both together. They sell these as a kit. You don't have to buy them both together. You can just buy this and start off, and then buy this later if you need a little bit more amperage. So we got the, the we got, super duper this is the Mac, This is the Mac Daddy of Wi-Fi Ranger. Duper and it works! That's the thing, guys. This freaking works. It's been pretty solid. We haven't had any issues. We both, last night, he was on his computer watching YouTube, and I was last night watching Netflix. I didn't have any issues. Yeah, I mean, you know, yeah. we both have not had any problems. But with the other one, I was constantly, Fred, what's wrong with the internet? Fred, something's wrong. Something's going slow. Why is it buffering? La, la, la. And this, I think he can give me more bandwidth, right, than you? You can multi-LAN. What that means is you can put internet, both multiple internet connections together. So if you have a cell phone, you can sit on a table, hit tether on that, hit the button to make it as a mobile hotspot, and the software to find that phone. It'll find the RV park's towers. Matter of fact, 
it won't find one tower, it'll find all the towers, and you can take all the towers and merge it into one connection with one button. I'm sure we just really made That's a lot cool. of RV parks upset, but... Hey, do they have to know that you have this in your RV? No. And if you are working from your RV like we are... That's really helpful. We've been in a lot of RV parks, and we're just, like, aiming antennas out the window and praying that we get a connection. We've moved our RV several times just to get better connections. You know how much of a pain that is? And trying to help clients when your internet connection is already slow, you... it's been so stressful the past couple of years, so this would have been very helpful while, we, while we're bouncing around. Yeah. It's, it's going to be much... Much easier for us to be able to travel. And we use this at our, our base station right here. It's like a little carriage house. We're building a house on our, in our land. We're using this on our land right now. So we can actually tether our two of our cell phones hmm. and our slow DSL to give us enough ban bandwidth to do live YouTube videos. <laughs> and, and that's just because we're in the woods. We choose to be in the woods. That's our, our choice. Mm -hmm. We chose to be in the woods. That's our choice. But that's nice and quiet. internet's a big problem in the woods. So here you go. Solves our problem. So we're at basically our house base station and this solved their problem so when we go to an, RV, to an RV park which we're going to soon we're going to really show it off so we're going to do multiple videos on this if we ever de-ice if we ever de-ice it's like snowing out there yeah now this is behind the scenes this is the software right here you type the IP address in a port and then it's all color coded so you have Wi-Fi range you have internet we're using our DSL line at 5.67 megs a second and all down here, you can actually have two, two control panels, the inside or the outside. The outside would be that, the elite would be that other big antenna. And this is the regular, uh, the little box, the router. So everything's in here. You click it, done. So if I want to connect to the Buffalo router in the shop, I just hit connect, and it does everything for you. Now what's really cool is I can take this phone, like I said earlier, put on Tether, my mobile hotspot on, and I can share it with the DSL line. It's called multi-WAN. Multi-WAN and it works it actually works I think the lights are cool too they light up really cool LEDs okay now right here it says using Ethernet plus Wi-Fi so it's using the hardwire Ethernet and the phone at the same time and this is so advanced and easy to use that I can actually slide a bar back and forth on how much data I want to use on my phone at one given time now if I want to only pull one meg a second which the phone can pull like 10 or 11 megs a second if I only want to pull one of those megs I can control it so I don't use much data on my phone, but I have enough power to surf the internet and do what I have to do off the slow RV parks wireless. So that's really neat. So you don't have to just depend on your phone, and you don't have to depend on the park. You can depend, depend on them 50-50 or 20-80, whatever you want to do. Probably the best little gadget that we've tried in a long time, if not the best gadget I've ever tried in my entire career. They give you easy instructions in, in the box, so it makes it really easy and simple to set up. If you're a beginner, don't be afraid of this. This is very easy to use. Um, the other one I'm not proud to I mean, I did a review on that about two years ago, and it did work for me. I guess you, you get what you pay for. It, you know, it was like it was like 150 bucks, and I got what I paid for, and I didn't get anything hardly because I struggled the whole time. See, on this page, you can actually see the usage. You can see what everybody's using inside your RV or your house. Say if your kids are in the back of the RV and are taking too much bandwidth, you can actually throttle them down a little bit so you can actually get your work done. And no, you don't have to scream at the kids saying, stop using the bandwidth kids, we need to get our emails sent out for our job. Well, that's okay. You got the power right here at the desktop, your desktop, you're in power. You're in power of the complete RV, your phones. You won't use too much data on your phones because you're in power of that because you can slow that down. So I'm super proud to show this unit off. I'm just not going to do one video. I'm going to do like three videos on this unit. When we go to the RV park, I'm going to show you the distance. Walk with the camera, show you the distance on how far this can actually go. Um, and how many towers I'm sharing. I'll go to the tower, point to it, show you, go back to the RV, and show you how many towers I'm on, do speed tests, everything else. So this is going to be like video one of three. So we're going to have this the first video. I'm going to do like two more because I like it that much. I'm going to post the link below to Wi-Fi Ranger. So if you want to check it out, Give them a call, um, talk to them, and you know, ask them if it's something good for what you're using, your situation, what you're going to do. If you have a boat, you can still use this on a boat, too. They're actually, they use this a lot on boats, so when you're in a marina, you can connect onto the marina's Wi-Fi, and you can actually reach it. Right now, we have like an RV carriage house, so we're building a house beside it. Um, so right now, this is perfect for us. This works great, and when we go out next week to RV parks, we're going to test it out and uh, show you everything. So 
be prepared for the next video. See you later. Visit Wi-Fi Ranger. Have fun, guys. Lakers and Sheriff, you know you'll find us funny.